this an unboxing even though we're not unboxing it right now in front of us? This is time management, sir. Okay. Two birds, one stone. Unboxing podcast. So it's done been unboxed. We're looking at it right now. Yeah. yeah but we're going to show it. Yeah, the unboxing, I guess, oh, right now. It's right we're in front show of the me. footage of the unboxing. Yeah. Ah. yeah. That thing is heavy duty. Yeah. Literally metal frame. I'm well, surprised none of us have dropped it yet. How big would you say it is? Uh, I would say that that is 18 inches by 21 inches. Hmm, sure. Pretty that, big, honey. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's big. Yeah. That's it's good. like Guess four me. times the size of the, the 100,000. Is, mm -hmm. is there a um, tape measure here at all? Do you have a tape Simon measure? Simon has one on his person. Do you have one I on your person? I want to find one now. What did I say? 18 by what? 21. 21. Right. Oh, this is This, this is, is fun. his favorite thing to do, isn't this it? This is, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> we should, yeah, we should uh, put one of the little ones beside it just to give a good size comparison. Yeah. Well, then, and then put thick next to the little one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doesn't get old. <laughs> so thick is a, an average height man, but yeah. we, like, we like to downplay it. In a Asia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a giant in Asia. What are you talking about? Abstro and I had a uh, Mexican for lunch today. Yeah. And we're sitting there. We look out the window, and I don't know if they were Mexican or Peruvian or where they were from, but like seven grown men, it looked like children walking in. They were like... they were. Yeah. I've never seen a group of men that small. Maybe just barely over five feet, yeah. if even. Were they carnies? I don't know. Could have Leprechauns? Been. No, they just look like workers. Like, they, you know, they'd been out working somewhere. And they were just coming to get some food. And we were just like, man. But when they stepped thick, out, I was like, my God, they look like children. Yeah, Thick would love to run with that crowd. Did you know statistically that, uh, I don't know if it's North and South Koreans or just Koreans in general or like, or one of the two, uh, statistically the smallest penises. Really? Wait. Statistically. Okay, I started <laughs> listing at smaller penis. What, yeah. What was, the lady, who has the you smallest penis? You should have listened penis? to the thick. stuff before. It was great. Thick does. Thick does. Yeah. Okay. Did you, did you find that I can't, tape measure? No tape. <laughs> <laughs> now well, who's got the small penis? Me. I have yeah. a small penis. There Let's talk go. about penis size. I might have one in my truck. Should I go look? Yeah. A penis? Stand by. <laughs> yeah. Be right back <laughs> with that a, penis. Got a truck full of ding dongs. Yeah. How can yeah. we fill a this time? cocks. We got to take advantage of this time where Neebs isn't here. Yeah. Which uh, we do. Like he won't. We won't be judged. This is no judgment time. Permission to speak freely without being judged. Are you asking no, us? I'm, I'm I'm asking yeah, us. No, we, we walk on eggshells sometimes because it's like, oh, here it comes. Oh God, it's it's. I like daylight savings time. Oh, you do? Yeah, no. don't. Yeah. No, I'm fuck sure. you. I do. No way. Okay, well, I mean, just don't jump on me. I know he really hates it, so let me be free. I res say something that you normally The English wouldn't. language is terrific, <laughs> and how we spell things is awesome, too. Yeah. Hey, hey Neves is back. Up, you don't have a tape? Nope, I must have taken it out. Yeah. Damn, this wasn't meant to be. You can I borrow one from a neighbor? This. It's probably bigger than now I'm judging what it, what it no, is. No, you can't. That's the thing is it's got to be, like, right at the... Right on the moment. So what do we do? What do we do to talk about? Is that it? We're done talking about it? Yeah, we're it? done with that. Yeah, it um, well, it's not interactactive. I'm not done. Oh, this, what? This, this is a big deal for me. Yeah, it's, it's great. Been, even though it's just a, a thing. It's a thing. That you hang on the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, I'm excited about it. I quit getting excited about trophies and stuff like that a long time ago. But for me, this is still like special. Well, it's because your mom just bought them for you. Yeah. Well, yeah. For participating. You didn't well, even bowl. It's a thought that came. <laughs> you got like 30 bowling trophies. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. You should have figured that out. <laughs> no, I, I actually just, uh, my dad called me because he had some of my trophies stored in his attic. And he's like, you want these? I'm like, no. Nope. <laughs> they're tacky. Throw them out. God, like, my basement right. was covered, not in my trophies, my father's trophies from bowling, oh, yeah, softball, etc. It's insane how many fucking trophies were in that one room. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to have that, nor do I want that. I like things like medals, like smaller things. Little things where you can remember something, but they don't take up a whole corner of your house. You could throw in a little box. My mom had a lot of trophies, a lot of bowling trophies. She was a good bowler. Yeah. yeah. Your, your, your parents should have bowled versus, versus my dad. Yeah. Oh. Bring it. Death oh. match. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. Bowl to the death. And we should have some. Would they ever hook up? That'd be weird. Yeah. That'd be, yeah, that'd yeah, be incredibly weird. Probably, probably weird. weird. Okay. Uh, so Kickstarter, we'll kickstart that. <laughs> kickstart my mom hooking up with your dad? No. no. <laughs> no the bowling match. The bowling, <laughs> the bowling <laughs> match. Okay. Simon, you like bowling, don't you? I like anything that involves throwing something and knocking things down or getting it into a, an area. I yep. love bowling. Yeah. 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 Bowling's yeah. great. Fun. If you haven't seen my form. He's got sweet glass-like form. I've seen your form. Yeah, I mean, that leg kicks out into the other lane yeah. to my left. So yep. smooth. Always sometimes tripping I, little kids. Sometimes, yeah, on purpose. I think bowling could use something else. Like what? Uh, Obstacles? Guns. God, I didn't think you'd ever get to the level of judging bowling. No, I've been there ages ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, it just needs something, like a longer runway. 
with hurdles. <laughs> That's why I really liked bowling on like the Wii and shit. Because you had these crazy, like, now you've got literally a thousand pins. And yeah, it's really that was fun. Way. That was that fun. That little and, bowling game, yeah. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you're like, damn, this is great. Okay. So, yeah, do stuff like Something that. Something like that. Or yeah. you have to carry your ball in a sling, hop a wall, climb through a tunnel. While you're taking gunfire. Yep. Mm-hmm. Remove the ball from the sling. Little release. Uh, blocks on the floor that will shock you. So you want like an you obstacle them. course before and the lane. Just something. Yeah, that would be fun. Not for me. And the ball is actually a bomb that is timed, so if you run out of time, it just blows up. I said bowling to me is like golf. It's like I I do find it intrinsically boring because there's not a lot to it, but it is fun to do with, like, friends. See, I look at them completely differently because golf, you get to, like, take in the outdoors environment. It's like just being where you are is a, a pleasure. Yeah. The bowling industry, I guess you say, like, you know, one lane is what started, like, that whole black lighty, smoke machine mm-hmm. thing Disco bowl. <laughs> and then yeah. that just went everywhere we're all doing spread. this now Black and then lights and they bullshit. felt like that's as crazy as they can go because it probably is as far as uh cost effectiveness they can go crazier oh you I could know. do you yeah. could add like murder mystery into it <laughs> <laughs> like a theater theater <laughs> all of a sudden get somebody... your beer and chicken wings and then yeah. oh somebody's been murdered <laughs> on lane also, 13 it's your turn bob yeah no somebody got murdered on lane 13 <laughs> everyone hold off the paramedics will come in they'll take the body away <laughs> I was uh, reading an article yesterday. I got a haircut. No one said anything. It doesn't. That was yeah, the article. Exactly. The okay. Nobody look, can tell. You gotta... Look how thin it is on the sides here. I don't remember how much. Yeah. One and a half right there. We don't pay that much attention wow. to your face. I've we never. Don't, we don't care that much about. I've okay. never not noticed a haircut so much. Anyway, um, I was reading <laughs> Entrepreneur Magazine while waiting, and they were talking about trends. People that start trendy businesses like Zumba. Mm-hmm. Or have you seen this thing where you pay to get locked in a room with your buddies and yeah, you have to figure out how to get yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. There's one downtown. Okay, Dude, we need town. to. I saw that. We need to do it. What's Shit, it called? We should do it. Um, escape room. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's what they're called. That's a good name for it. Yeah. yeah, murder mysteries. That's another one that was kind of big for a while, then kind of died off. But some people still do it. I did one at a personal birthday party not long ago. It was like they bought all the shit online. You know, printed out all the shit that you needed. I didn't know very many people at this party at all. It was like a birthday party. And it was cool. Like in this house, it was really fun. Talk about an icebreaker. When you guys are like the first time you meet these people, you're like playing a part. Mm -hmm. Because I've been to maybe two. Yeah. And they were both bad. Yeah. So, But I bet there are ones that have been done well. I'm sure. And I think that like with us, you know, the more you know, and like we're idiots. So, and we like this shit and playing parts. I, I bet we would have a really fun one. I've never been to one. They're pretty Neither they're interesting. Yeah. Neither yeah. I. I've never been. I think we should do kids birthday party murder mysteries. <laughs> Million yes. dollar idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, your mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who done it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed the clown? One with a human trafficking theme. Yeah. You know, it's good about escape rooms is it uses like uh unused real estate in a lot of cases. You know, like uh it was an abandoned office downtown that's and kind now of it's true about any business though isn't it, it is it is but this could like you could uh you know how malls are becoming pretty obsolete they're kind of just sad a lot of malls are malls are sad malls Our are malls s- not there's, there's gonna be one mall is very sad it's pa- it's packed no it's not no, packed when, when do you go to the mall wow no every now and then uh, like lunch i'll go eat lunch there it sounds it, like a yeah it's a bad data collection it's a sad mall when are y'all going to the mall the kiosk oh. people oh, make me sad people there oh the kiosk yeah where they're, they're selling like license Phone plates cases or the shoes with lights on them <laughs> hats but it looks like they're all like crazy glued yeah. to just normal shoes yeah what's sad is there's a lady that sells churros and i've never seen anyone buy a churro from this lady i'm like why doesn't she sell something else well she why knows don't you buy a churro? she's in the churro business yeah. Yeah, but if no one's buying it, you got to change your strategy, don't you? Well, s- somebody must be buying it. It's just when you're not there. Maybe it's when y'all show up. Maybe. Make it a escape. You guys like churros? Well, I, of course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a... What is yeah. it? It's a fried freaking stick with cinnamon and sugar on it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. It's pretty delicious. I don't know what they look great. like. It's bad I don't know what's you, in them. It's delicious. Now, I, I had them in Spain with hot chocolate, and the hot chocolate there has a really, really thick consistency, so you dip the churros. Oh, that sounds pudding. Churros. Good. It's chocolate pudding. In churros. The, basically chocolate pudding, mm. but it's fucking delicious. What's it made of? Dough. It's dough. Just fried nothing dough. food-like in it. No, well, like uh, flour, eggs, sugar. S- cinnamon's good for you. Eggs. Eggs are food. God, you are so judgmental about <laughs> Look, everything. I'm Here's a delicious dessert, Neebs. You already had uh, growth issues with <laughs> protein. Well, now, do you just randomly eat a Snickers still? <laughs> oh, an Almond no, Joy almond or joy. Raisinets? Yeah. Almond Joy. they're all yeah. v- no, much worse joy. than a churro. Coconut. Almond. 
and dark and chocolate. chocolate. All right, what's your Mountain Dew excuse? No, it's when we come in sometimes, I'm tired, and I'm like, I need some caffeine. There you so go. I can, it's, a, it's a booster. Yeah, it's so not you, good for you, You should though. drink tea. But you're so judgmental about foods, you can't just enjoy something. It's like, here's a hot fudge sundae. That's not food. As you eat an almond joy. <laughs> and a Mountain Dew. Coconut, almond, <laughs> raisinets have raisins in them. Yeah. That's it's like, healthy. It's probably not even like really, it's like coconut. You know what I mean? Coconut. Well, listen, Fairly. when you open an almond joy, you can see little strands of coconut and a nut in there. Oh, I know. When you open one of Thick's Apollos, what's in that? <laughs> I don't eat That's those just anymore. some sort of gelatin. <laughs> Did you mush. eat apple? <laughs> what's an apple? Yeah, what the fuck is an apple? That's those, oh, like, those little those gummy. It's like oh, a gummy bear with oh, like man. sweet <laughs> sour like a peach sugar ring. all yeah, over peach it. Ring. Yeah, peach rings. Yeah. They're delicious, but I quit eating those a while ago. I'm so glad you switched over to the dark chocolate side. The oh, dark. Cause, cause, Welcome to the dark. Yeah, because, because now the there's share. a drawer in the office with dark chocolate in it. I know. That's why I like it. Makes me happy. It's fairly good for you. The reason I bring this up to you about food is because I care about you. <laughs> and I want you to be around this for a long how he time. Plays I think every, I, every single angle is Needs. because you care about somebody and you yep. want to tell them what they're doing for wrong. You. I don't tell people I don't know how to live their lives. I care about you being right and not wrong. affect me. So in other words, it's, we're better off not knowing you than knowing you. If you don't want me to tell you how to Needs. do things. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. I, I exercise at least five days a week. Okay. I can get away with eating some shitty food sometimes. It's not, I do it in moderation. It's not like I wake up and just guzzle some saltwater taffy or you know something. I think you do well, Thick. I think you're a pretty fit person. Me too. Have you heard about my uh, push-ups? Oh, oh yeah. The shower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not going to bring it up. Is yeah. it still 25? No, it's 30. No, it's okay. 30. Update your fucking God. Do you even feel brain. a burn from that? No. Okay. So Listen, I need to go 35, but now we're starting to get into time. You should at least time. feel a burn, right? You can't talk about it anymore until you reach 50. Can I? Can okay. I, oh. And uh, and when you're at 10. <laughs> so you got a year. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> you can do it. You won't. Speaking of fitness, I actually did two boot camps within a week. These are the things week. you do at Curves. Huh? Not at Curves. No. The first one was at Gold's Gym. So you enlisted. Uh, no, not the kind of boot camp that you did, good sir. Thank you for your service, <laughs> no, Dr. That's not where I'm going. I okay, just think no, it's, I just, it's like I think that, it's fun though, that they call it boot camp. Yeah, no. They should shave your head. Well, in your case, you've you already done. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm wearing camo. Um, <laughs> no, I did a boot camp over the weekend uh, for Make a Wish Foundation. So oh, I raised uh, over the... eight hundred dollars for Make a Wish Foundation through Gold's Gym. No, Make and a th- Wish that for the Marine Corps uh, sponsors. So. Oh, so there are ties direct. Okay, carry on. Uh, okay, so I almost died in that one. But the second one that I did was last night. And let me ask you guys something. What do you think about, like, girls that are a little bit thicker? In what way? Like, yeah. like, there like a was big a, ass? I love me a big ass now. There, there was a girl in this boot camp last night, and she was a little bit thick. I mean, not, mus- she was not crazy muscular, not, just just No, thick. just like thick, curved. Yeah. She, she well, was healthy. It comes down to the heart, doesn't it? I guess it does, but I looked at her, and I was like, man, that is a beautiful girl. She yeah. is hot. So yeah. if you're a thick lady, listen. No, that's no pun intended, but if you got a little meat on your bones, hey, Embrace it's, it. it is all good. Man, because nothing wrong with a little meat. I would have eaten would've... this girl all up. See, I Had didn't. not pepper sprayed me. I didn't know that until <laughs> until Thick said that. Because before that, I thought that thick people were all ugly. <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy that like I get that you said that, but if we, if we didn't feel that way, we'd be assholes. That's, a, that's like how you. It's true. Feel like all black people are gonna steal your wallet. Yeah, well, because you can't trust black people. <laughs> It's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, I feel it's sad you have to clarify that. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we, listen, I, I I love women of all sizes. Yeah. We just want everyone to be healthy, right? Yes, just be healthy. Coconut, almonds. Yeah. Chocolate. Joy. Go on the Mounds diet, ladies. <laughs> Man, we got off that button. To, yeah. Oh, let's we talk about that. the button some more. Oh, the, the Here. Playlist? I, I say button. It's not, a, it's not a button. Simon was saying a that, gold button. Um, what are you doing? You're going to pass it around? So I wanted can... to hold it. It's probably uh, 25 pounds, this thing. Simon yeah, was saying that we might be finding those in like uh, at like garage sales in the yeah. future. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be all you know. over the place. Everybody's going to have a million subscribers on YouTube. Anybody else want to hold it? How much do you think we can sell it. that for? I already held it. It's yeah. got felt on the back. It's really well made. Oh, it's beautiful. And Neve seemed to think that it would be worth money. We could smelt it down and make some sweet gold necklaces with it. Or we could it. open it up and, and uh, combine an ant farm with it. <gasps> Simon yeah. said, Ooh. you know what's sad? This will probably be in a garage sale one day for like a dollars. I just, I just well, said not, that. Not that one. I said you'll probably be able to find something like this but at I'm, a garage sale. I think it could go the other way. I think someday in the future, someone might remember like, oh man, I used to always watch this channel when I was a kid. 
and now that person's dead and gone and we're auctioning off this gold play button. So it, it might could be a be collector's item. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, maybe yeah, there's somebody out there that's be. like, I'm going to collect the uh, YouTube, whatever you call it. A YouTube, YouTube museum. Play buttons. Play buttons. Yeah. A hundred years from now. A YouTube museum. Oh, yeah. Certainly. Possibly. The bones of PewDiePie will be in there. Possibly. <laughs> 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 with yeah, his SS funny. officer hat on. Oh yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? SS. Uh, it's the it's a Nazi thing. I know that. Uh, yeah. Why in reference to PewDiePie? Just because that bullshit that happened with him, which was bullshit. Yeah, it was completely. He totally bullshit. got. Fiverr. Yeah, it was blown out of proportion. Oh, because yeah. of a picture. It's like the I think it was the Wall Street Journal ran an article was like PewDiePie's a Nazi. Uh, yeah, they took it out of context. They didn't talk about what he was actually trying to achieve with those uh, episodes he was doing. He was proven points. Wait, the media took something out of context? What? I don't believe you. All media sources, start? they report things truthfully. Yeah. And I mean, unbiasedly. You, you know the media is messed up just when you live through a hurricane. And you happen to live oh, in the city that the hurricane's <laughs> hitting. Right. And people are calling you like, oh my, is anything left? Right. And we're like, yeah, it's just raining a little bit. <laughs> right? Yeah, we <laughs> got plenty bad of hurricanes. Left. Come on yeah. out. Oh my the God. news but, will make it out like it's Armageddon. But I mean, you got to look at the other side too. If there is potential of a really catastrophic event, mm -hmm. it's best to not look at it lightly. No, I'm, but they I'm not really talking go, about like the pre preparation part. They're but like, that's where the media really, they're talking about this, this storm that Satan himself is blowing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, that happened last year. Yeah, and we did have a bad storm recently. Right. It was the flooding that really... Right. And then, fuck, like, California, man, they just, they've been dealing with some shit. I mean, it's a, I mean like, anything, it's a ratings game. It's an eyeballs game. Yeah, of course. I, I used to work for a local news station, and yeah, anytime we had a hurricane, I hated it. We had to go wall to wall. It's like, we're going live 24 hours. Like, why? Yeah. We and need to. There's this whole thing about media lately, and I'm not going to get into it on the political side, but, but media is, like, still, uh, on the other side, is absolutely necessary. Like, you need it. Oh, yeah, of course. You just have to know how to filter, you know, the right sources and not right. and know where they're going to just embellish. Like, do your fucking research. Compare. Don't just watch one source. Don't just read one source. You really, you know. It makes it easier, though, if you can just listen to the president. You know? Like, I just want to listen to what he says. Because I'll just trust that. He, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. And Hold on, let's Trump. Time. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, good stuff. No, no, media should be like when you hear a rumor, you should go. Well, I'm going to ask Steve. Well, Steve said this. I'm done. You got to ask everybody, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Facebook's the absolute worst because you get in the echo chamber. Mm -hmm. Media and political parties are the most polarizing thing in this entire world, more so than racism. And I encourage everybody out there. To just be cool to one another and disassociate yourself from any yeah, media a, source or political party. It's, it's like sports now. It's like my team wins. Yay. My, your team loses. Fuck you. It's like that, that, that's not how it's supposed to work. But actually in sports, though, at the end of a game, even though you're like, ah, fuck, we lost. Good game. Like it still should yeah, be. You still yeah. have there needs some to be some showmanship. Sort of like, as long as yeah. there's not a riot, you know, yeah. then you're doing it wrong. Sports would be fun, win or lose. We're competitive by nature. You know, tribal mindsets. My group's better than your group. I don't feel that way. I know you don't. You're a perfect human being. Yeah, well, you're. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think we nailed example, it last time. Neves is a Jedi with a bad personality, right? Well, and if, no powers. If you were on an island with a bunch of people, would you say, "I hope I get all the food"? If I was playing Survivor on yeah. that show, yeah, I would make a raft out of all the people that I killed to get home. <laughs> a little bone raft. Who are you going to bowl with? <laughs> and you, you would only need like two people. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, he has yeah. a skull and a foot. <laughs> you ride a skull and use the foot as a paddle. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't use Duralius because he'd sink. Right. Yeah. It's because all why the push-ups. Why does he sink? <laughs> yeah, I don't get why well, he, he sink. He's a little Dude. thicker, like the girl I was talking about. I think people float oh, there. Am I thicker? Oh. Yeah. All right. I mean, I got a little. I got a little uh, uh, you got beer the, gut, but uh, dad bod. What's that? The dad bod? <laughs> you got dad bod. Oh, wow. Now shit's going to get wow. real. Wow. Uh, shit's going to get real. Yeah. Um, you were a Marine, too, yeah? Or not? Well, I mean, you know, 20 odd we're. years ago. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. Uh, Feel the tension. Just happy to have a head of hair, I suppose. Uh -huh. Being stranded on this island man. might be good for us. What's that? When we get stranded on the island, it might be good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. We should talk about Casper. The Friendly Ghost? Oh, yes. Yeah. We know, have a sponsor today. I, I'm going to give you a few things that I really love about that fucking bed. Okay, the, the Casper bed. One, they don't mind you saying that fucking bed either, even, right? Yeah, they don't care. Even though um, we got this one and I ended up with it and we didn't pay for it. But like for the price that they are, it is a quality mattress. That's for damn sure. Number two, I still love the fact that I was... Because I can't fit shit in my car. I have like this normal car and like... 
can't open a hatchback or anything, but the box it was in, the fact that I could throw that in my back seat and take it to my place, like you can't, mattresses are a pain in the ass to move around. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that was just awesome to throw in the car, take it out, unbox it, unbag it, and it just kind of like whoop, grew into a, nice. now I've got a queen size mattress, you know? There you go. And the third thing, we know how tough relationships are just in and of themselves. Uh -huh. It's really nice to not have any disturbance between the both of you on the mattress. If one of you can't sleep, oh, the that, transfer, and that yeah, transfers that could, over. Sure does. Not on this fucker. You're not getting bounced around your side? Nothing. If they turn over? It's, so, uh, it's right. amazing. No like ripple that. effect, huh? No ripple effect at all. That's cool. Does awesome. Casper make a waterbed? I, I don't no, think anyone any should or ever will again. You're probably still looking for one, aren't <laughs> no, you? We're fine. So if you want to try out one of Time Magazine's best inventions of 2015, risk-free for 100 nights with a money-back guarantee and free shipping and returns to U.S. and Canada, then go to www.casper.com. And if you add a little forward slash Neebs in there, you get $50 off any mattress purchase. Uh, and by the way, Casper Beds, they have over 20,000 reviews on an average of 4.8 stars. And it's quickly becoming the internet's favorite mattress. So there you go. Thank you, Casper. We're going to do science. It's science time. <laughs> it's Here's science. some science it's for your science. face. It's science, science. 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 time. Science time. We're at glance at an article. <laughs> head. No, wait. Where I glance at a headline, here's a taste, it's science time. Yay! Yay. Don't fucking hate, I did my base. it's science time. You're based. Based? You did my your base. Hey. That's how you rhyme with the... I guess. Cut out that one line that didn't work. Yeah, I'll do that. So make it seamless. seamless. So, I was going to um, talk about what seemed the obvious topic, which was that new solar system with the seven potentially oh, habitable right, right. planets like Earth. Then I read the article last night about Elon Musk's new endeavor with SpaceX. Ah. There's two guys uh, mm -hmm. that are going to do an unmanned loop around the moon and back. Two guys are doing this unmanned loop. Yeah. But it's unmanned. How does that make any sense? Yeah, wait, so, why no, not no, doing no, no, it no, then? No, no. These two not, guys are sitting not, in a room. Not crew. There's no crew. It's all automated. It's like autopilot. And, the and whole it goes thing. around the two moon. Two guys in it? Yes. So then it's manned. It's manned then. No, they're not doing uh, anything. I know, but you got to understand uh, the way okay. you said it made it sound like they're not aware of that. But okay. let's fucking move on. And <laughs> so realize it's like the what... Google car. <laughs> yes. Okay. Two guys have already paid for it. They are not celebrities. And uh, here, let me give you the details ah, on this. It's on. it's already happening within. By the end of this year, one flight's happening, and then next year's another one. I didn't even realize it was. They were talking about people who paid for this. Yeah, two people paid for it. I would love it if they were the most flamboyantly gay people in the world. <laughs> Where is the, the face? Right. So. <laughs> gay <laughs> than face. Ten seconds till blast off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, That's I'm not the way all gay people talk, guys. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, I'm pretty know. sure yeah, the, any yeah. normal person knows. I'm pretty sure the flight with these two guys is later this year. But if not, it's in 2018. Okay. Flight around the moon in cooperation with, with NASA because uh, SpaceX has been like kind of doing their thing with NASA. And this will be faster and farther than anyone has ever been. Faster and further? Yeah. Because we've they, never yeah, gone beyond. What are they going, beyond the moon? Well, around it. They're using it. but Around it. Now, what's crazy to me. That's about 250,000 miles away. It's going to take about six or seven days. And what's crazy to me, and I was just reminded, and I think, I mean, we all know it, but no U.S. astronauts have been to the moon since the early 70s. Isn't yeah. that fucking nuts? Well, not really, not really because yeah. there's nothing there. Yeah. Well, that's true. It's like none, none of us have been to south of the border <laughs> <Yeah>. in ages. <laughs> like, listen, if there were oil on the moon, we'd have colonized the fucking <laughs> yeah. thing by no, now. No, true. That's very true. Yeah, absolutely. I um, mean, there's minerals there, right? It's got to be rock. Not good ones. Yeah, I guess they're all shit. Mm. It's probably a south of the border up there as well. <laughs> yeah. Just but the uh, world's largest plastic shark. One thing I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, welcome to the moon. <laughs> See Sharky? One thing I do know is that, you know, you throw the government in and, uh, you know, NASA and every space endeavor, like the costs have been so fucking ridiculous. But SpaceX, yeah, it's going to be expensive. I, I want to yeah, know it's the like number. A I want to know what they paid. It's like a difference of billions oh, I'm sure of, dollars, of, of dollars. Of dollars. <laughs> billions of dollars. Dollars. That's our new but, currency. Uh, and did you know that uh, the Amazon CEO has got like a SpaceX rival? Of, of doing the same kind of thing as yeah. SpaceX. So these, huh. these are basically just space trips, right? Space trips, yeah. 
I mean, Elon Musk, you know, within the next 50 years, he expects us to be regularly visiting Mars. I would not jump on that ship right now. Mm -mm. No, and I heard that he's going to do one as well. I mean, they... As he should. SpaceX has had, like, what, nine, ten launches now, and they've had only two mistakes? They've had their mistakes, but I've... But, like, two out of ten, that's not good odds for me to get on a ship yet. Well, unless they got to exactly where, like, yes... Now we got it, which is probably why this is happening. You know, it's you not know like those guys are signing a big ass waiver too. Because yeah. look, yeah, but look what it does for your entire name brand across the oh, board. It's super cool. If this is a nightmare, yeah. because you're fucked. Oh yeah, it's Cause... almost like pre-ordering No Man's Sky. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. sort of. I still enjoy that game. I'm the only guy, the only guy on the planet enjoys No Man's Sky. You know, it's scary. Uh, science time, but it goes uh, a touch political. But you know how, like, um, it's where um, I cut you. No, no, don't, don't cut me. Keep me going. Okay. Because we don't have to get into Keep specifics. Keep baby. I was thinking about this a little bit last night and picturing the whole, you know, the space exploration endeavor and, and potentially colonization. And uh, the big money entities are going to, you know, obviously gobble up the real estate worth of shit out there. And it's going to be kind of the, just an extension of what's here. Out there? Out there. In space. I mean, you'd imagine, right? Yeah, it's going to take a while for the real estate to get real good That's there. That's going to be oh, it's, wrong. It's, <laughs> it's going to take time. Hey, come here. I don't even Are think about that Are there any good schools shit. in the area? <laughs> are you on the side of this planet that burns your face when you wake up? Or when are you, you on the lush? On. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm looking thousands of years And it costs so over. much to send anything into space. Again, Elon Musk, this vision of his in a, a reasonable amount of time, traveling to space, around the moon, or even Mars... He sees as comparable to uh, a flight on the Earth. Really? Uh, in a matter of time. I hope so. Science time? Science time. It was all right. Yeah, yeah no, it was good. I'm, I'm interested now in pondering life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He also said um, that he would like to die on Mars if given the option. He'd Who? rather die on Mars. Elon Musk. Elon. Yeah, yeah just not try to by breathe impact. There. Yeah, all you gotta do is walk joke. outside. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> not by impact. Yeah, by, by hitting it. I watched a uh, half hour. Um, he was at a, it was like a world government convention in Dubai. It was a pretty big convention, obviously, and just all walks of life, governments around the world are there. It got to where he was talking about video games. We talked about this before, about like the advancements from Pong to now. Is This, this is getting boring now, or, but it's... No, I'm interested. Like this. I'm interested. From Pong yeah. until now, the advancement in video games. And like, if you look at it like that in 20 years, video games with VR will be undistinguishable from real life. Okay. They will be. And then he pondered on that going, so how do we know if we're not already in one? We right. might be NPCs, you know what I mean? Yeah, we might be. So we're going that deep. No, mm. we don't have to. Science Ooh. time. We're done with <laughs> Science is over. You get it, though? Hey. Yeah. Uh, bing bong. Yeah. You were interested. I was interested. Then, then you got crazy talk. That's Elon Musk <laughs> saying We're in a video game. That's... No, shut the fuck up, Elon. No, we're not. This no. Is, he doesn't know. You at. can't tell Elon to shut the fuck up. I can't. You just can't. I can't. He's one of the great visionaries. No, I love him. I, I think what he's doing is great. Um, I don't think we're in a fucking video game. Well, I know, but, but the thing is... <laughs> but you can't uh, prove it. Can't being, prove it, no. Being, no. But neither can he, that's what I'm saying. You have to have an open mind to those things. Well, that's what the to. fuck do we well, know? yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, it's like... Uh, that, an open mind, unicorns exist. Well, also, I mean, religion, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's exactly. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, half of those guys are full but of shit. But you don't know. Half yeah. those guys. Half those guys. Man, watch, yeah. of them. watch yeah. Scientology well, Most of them right. don't really believe, it's just what they're fucking told to do. Yeah. Watch the Mormons be right with their space <laughs> Jesus. And our next set, religion time, religion, religion time. time. We're not going to talk about religion time. Trust me, we've gotten some shit over some religious talk. Yeah. I've read comments, Why? and it's just it just gets tricky. I don't think anyone's wrong. Shit gets tricky. That's yeah, my let's, angle. Let's leave it be. Nobody's wrong. Hey, yeah, we yeah, all believe, make fun believe of believe what you want to. Yeah, but we don't all... look at that person and say you're wrong. Yeah, because that's bullshit. Well, then, you don't I, know. then I have a problem. No, I'll question person. you. I'll question you all yeah. day. You say I believe in magical fairies and unicorns. I'll say, all right, you can do that, but I think you're full of shit. Well, people get really upset when Neeb sings "Jesus Take the Wheel" in his truck. They're like honking. They're like, please, sir, stop. Yeah, so like, you better be careful with that religious singing. <laughs> okay. I would like to talk about an experience that I had over the weekend. Bring it. If any of you have ever had the pleasure of car shopping, it's an awful experience to me looking for a car. Where'd you go? I went to Bob King GMC. I have never bought a car from a car dealer in my life. Good story. Yeah. It is a good story. So you pull up to one of these places and, you know, you've got all the... The dealers kind of hanging out there. Oh, yeah, they come always... out like snakes <laughs> with like, their polo shirt like on. Like prostitutes. <laughs> Khakis and hey, polo. Hey, looking for we, a good ride? We, we have 
car salesmen in of our course audience. we do sure, I, we so do. not yeah. sure we do scum yeah. they're good people are they yeah. snakes maybe <laughs> but I saw a guy who looked like my Uncle Barry, and I was like, that's the guy. I guess that's the guy. I'm buying a car I, from this I, guy. I have to buy a car from this guy, and he was really cool, and then we figured out a deal, and I bought a car. And oh, you bought a car? Yeah, well, yeah, but, but there's a story. not a quarter mile away from the car lot, check engine light comes on. Oh, shit. You got to be kidding. Used car? Obviously. Yeah, it was Bob like King a certified yeah, pre-owned, but sure. I turn around. I say, hey, uh, this check engine light is on. And he told me that the reason why the check engine light was on is because the battery in the key fob that starts the car was low. And I said, that doesn't seem right. And I'm probably going to use the internet to check it. Are you sure you want to go with that? Because you can just put me in a different <laughs> car right response. now and fix it. And we went back and forth and back and forth. I had to take my daughter who was with me home, like with this, you know, check engine light on. And I came back. They, their service department wasn't open, so they I had to twist their arm to take it to another dealership. And he's like, yeah, it was the key fob. I said, okay. The other I dealership left. said that? He said the other dealership said that, but they didn't have any paperwork. So I leave, check engine light comes on. I go ba back in there and I'm full blown arc. Thick. Yeah. Thick 44, mad at Neebs. Like, <laughs> it was like that. Yeah. It was like well, you were telling you me how shitty my house was. How did you act? Did you do you like okay, or what, did you stay no, remain calm? I, I, did you I bring was... a step stool and look him in the eye? <laughs> oh come uh, on! Hey, he uh, said dad bod shit earlier. I got to... <laughs> okay, yeah, come all right. on. He's still pent up. So I get up on my step stool, and <laughs> no, I, I was, I, I was very, I was very firm. I did at one point. I I started hearing my voice reverberate through their you know facility, and I'm uh -huh. like, okay, you gotta you gotta calm down. They put me in a, a different vehicle after me twisting their arm to do that. And I said, well, yeah, just come back on Monday. Everything will be all good. So I decided to tweet to GMC about this. And uh, GMC got right back to me. And the customer service manager over there found out about it. And she mm -hmm. set up a meeting with me. She's like, I really wish you wouldn't have tweeted to GMC about this. I wish you would have come to us first. I said, well, you know, I was pretty hot about it. You know, a check engine light could mean anything. And at worst case scenario, if I'm in the car with my daughter and the engine just stops and somebody t-bones me you know repercussions are terrible i'm not talking about lawsuit i'm talking about you know human injury lives i said so you can understand how hot i was but the customer service experience when you blow somebody off or give them an excuse to get them out the sure. door, it's pretty transparent. Yeah. I have never had a car that the engine light wasn't on. <laughs> I hear you. Like right now, if I go start my truck up, the engine light's probably going to come on. Yeah, my, my new car, there's a light there's on. two engine lights on. There's <laughs> it, indicating that I have no uh, airbags. engine bags. lights up. Right? Yeah, because I have bags. no airbags. Yep. Yeah, it's a real gem. Got it for a steal, though. I did. I got a good deal. <laughs> Listen, I had a fucking mechanic. That mechanic who I bought this car from, uh -huh. he actually told me this with a straight face because I said the check engine light came on, and he goes, "Oh, that doesn't mean anything. You worry too much." Oh, that's, <laughs> oh my that's god, what the that guy, guy. Said yeah. he says it does he mean said, something, asshole. Really I said it's not I, verbatim. I said. Check engine lights are not a fucking decoration, dude. No, they, they are not driving truck. this car. No, the thing just comes on all the time. It can be the fun. tiniest thing. We do know that. Oh, it sure. Can yeah. be like I a wish, sensor. I wish yeah. I could take that light out. I know. Take it out. Get rid of it. Yeah, it's always that'd be on. Nice. But then you can't pass inspection, you know. Yeah. All that stuff. We didn't have, you're they compromising didn't your safety. They didn't have check engine lights back in the day. Let's go back to that day. Yeah, more people got killed in car accidents. Sure thing, Grandpa. It was great. I mean, I remember when you didn't have to wear a seatbelt, you know. Yeah, more people got killed. It was fun. Yeah. I've heard that their study, this is a total thick fact, but I've heard that if you look at the deaths that happened before the seatbelt laws, the, the car seats for the kids and all of this stuff, the deaths per uh, capita are pretty much the same. Yeah, you have to do the math. You know, I heard last night um, or yesterday on the radio. Your that neighbors? Oh, radio. I'm, all, <laughs> I'm dealing with this potentially the same thing. I brought oh, okay. it up on the stream. Like, well, with the place I moved in, the walls are like paper thin. And my girl stayed with me for the first time this weekend at my new place. And uh, she was like, holy shit. Like you hear, like um, opening a soda can, you know, you expect the wall to muffle it. Nah. You, you, uh, can, you can hear your like neighbors a, it's opening crystal clear, cans and you drinking. Know, not to mention everything else. You, you know? can hear their hair grow. Yeah. It's a weird. It's a weird thing. Really so. derailed well, him, didn't I? I'm hoping to not. I have want to go to over to your uh, house and just fart all day. <laughs> yeah, be, that's fine. Yes, yeah, yeah, good idea. Off. Be fine. Uh, open a window, please. Yeah, you mentioned that you heard your neighbors banging, banging, and then the pillow talk that went along with it too. So here's bangers. what you do. Here's what you do. You out bang them. Yeah. The enemy's not his neighbor. Right. It's We've, the landlord. Yeah, right. The yeah. sound oh, is yeah. in the enemy. My neighbors, I've well, met. Well, no, you make it a game. And then, like, you walk I'll out later that on, you're like, yeah, you know, if I, I got you this time. If I was in college, that'd be great. 
but uh, I'm a grown person, and I don't want to live that life. You know, <laughs> it sounds fun, but uh, you want to yeah, have privacy. In your I'm house. on the same page with almost everyone in my building. So what you're gonna have to probably do is fix the problem yourself. I've talked to and him, and then and then get the money, send him a bill back afterwards. On the way uh, to the office today, I stopped by the office one more time to see how the progress was going. So they're they're on it. They they're know. Gonna, they're gonna put another layer of rice paper on there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we'll see how that goes. Stand by. Yeah. All right. So uh, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> that sounds good. Astro. Yeah. You got any video game news? Oh, the um, the Switch is coming out. I'm getting one on Friday. Comes out on Friday, right? Yeah. So we're we're recording this when? Uh, we're, this is the the February 28th right now. Yeah. So it comes That's out. That's a weird Friday. name. Switch. switch. Well, because you can switch it from your TV to a tablet. Okay. You switch yeah. it. Because yeah. if you grew up in the mountains, just like Switch is a bad word. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna switch off with. the tree. Oh yeah. I'm gonna yeah. switch and wear you out, boy. <laughs> yeah. Now I want to see that that it's like. That's got to be a skit somewhere. Yeah. It's like, you know, you've been bad. Go to the tree and get a Switch. And he just pulls a Nintendo Switch off the, the tree. That's the worst insult in the you got to pick your own Switch. Beats the shit out of yeah. with the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Did you ever get the Switch? I'd grab a cattail. Yeah, I got the Switch. You got hit with a stick. Yeah. yeah. Damn. How do you think I turned out so good? Hill people so are strange. My, my, gram, my grandmother would make me go get a bigger one if I, if I brought a little one. It would just be like on the back of your leg and yeah. it'd sting. And you'd be like, okay, I'm not going to touch that anymore. Damn. Would you want to Switch over a belt? Well, they're both the same, aren't yeah. they? Not really. No. I mean, it depends well, no, on the parent. Get... A parent that d- uses it. Like when, you're t- when you're too young and you don't understand positive versus negative reinforcement, yeah. and you're like, you don't, your communication skills are bad, like, oh, that stung. Okay, don't touch that. Now, millennials can't relate to any of yeah. this. No, they're pussies. No, they don't get spanked anymore. We need the to bring millennials... spankings back into school. Yeah. Millennials not the right term, though. I read something this morning that millennials are people who are between 18 and 37 Yeah, technically, I'm a millennial. Yeah, right, like you, don't, so, you can't so, relate to it. No, but he's not. He's no, not I what got, I would I think. Got a switch when I was a fucking kid. <laughs> got my ass beat and a belt. I got both of those. Yeah. Anthony See, I got red pepper. Did I ever tell, tell you this before? What? <laughs> Wait, red pepper sprayed? No, my mom. When I would say something bad, my mom she'd freak out. She'd grab me in like a headlock. She'd bring me over to the cabinet, grab red pepper oh flakes, and, and stick them in my mouth. <laughs> That's more effective <laughs> than uh, yeah. It's like Italian torture. Yeah, really. It yeah, was like, come here, bada bing. <laughs> real deal. From talking about a new video game console to how our parents <laughs> fucking beat us. Well, they called yeah. it Switch, didn't they? Yeah, Simon's they had did. heartburn got, since the age of six. Yeah. Yeah. I just love, like, that's the kind of shit. That, yeah. The Sony belt comes out next year. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's better than soap in the mouth. No, I get that too, but yeah, red but pepper. That's like, who gives a shit? See, my mom being from Spain, I didn't get a, the switch or the belt. I got the chancla. What's that? That was usually her her flip flop or her her slipper. <laughs> that sounds like a she, lame hit. Though. She, she, no, she was like a ninja with that thing. She gets you in the ear. Yeah, that's she the got, way. And yeah. in the the neck, your neck meat. <laughs> oh God! And then she then she just started using her hand. Like yeah, I remember. I, I remember. I <laughs> she didn't want to bend down. I thought it'd be funny. To, we were at dinner at a friend's house. I think I was probably eleven years old. I. I thought it'd be funny to pull a chair out from under her when she went to sit oh, down. Man. Oh, man, that's the worst. <laughs> she got up and beat the shit out of me in front she, of she everybody. she should have. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> I'd have helped now, her. Did anybody here get uh, like punished physically at school? Yes. I did not. Uh, wh- right. When I went I to school in the I South. Did, no. so I got paddled. Yeah, I got paddled too. It didn't hurt. Isn't that like Mine more, hurt. more often a Catholic school thing? This was a public school for me. Yeah, it was. Uh, huh. Man, the South is an interesting place. <laughs> yes, it is. Because really, up north, yeah, the nuns, that was really fucked yeah, right. up, too. Because like five minutes before I went in, the nuns were still hitting. Yeah. And uh, and then the nuns, they realized when I got in there, the nuns were weeding out. They're like, we can't let these crazy bitches teach anymore. Because <laughs> they were like, they were fucking hardcore, man. They're all tainted. I mean, I mean that respectfully, of course. Mm. Right, 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 yeah. right. Mm-hmm. If a nun was going to punish me in a school, I would look at them and just say, I kind of feel like how Christ did but right before he was put on the cross when they were whipping him. Yeah. It's funny that you're doing that. It's a weird thing to say. <sighs> I got fucking hit no, once, really though. Pretty relevant. School. You got hit? I got hit once by, by a school, teacher or by a uh, teacher. an educator? Okay. Yeah, it was a gym teacher, and he was Mr. <laughs> Friesleben, and it was just me and him in the gym. For some reason, I went in there and asked him if I could do something, and it's all kind smoke of fuzzy. Pot. Yeah, you want to smoke some weed, Mr. <laughs> Freebs? And, <laughs> but <clears throat> I went up to him, and he asked me something, and I and, and he was probably, 
in his upper 50s at the time. And I was a wise ass. I was a wise ass to everybody, but I gave him a wise ass for Mark and he just fucking let one back and gave me a backhand right to the fucking face. Oh, sure. And I was shocked. I'm sure. And I fucking realized this is the difference. I realized I deserved it and I didn't fucking tell anybody. I'll bet your eyes looked exactly like they Probably did. Yeah. So. Hey guys, yeah, yeah. But I didn't tell anybody. I was like, <laughs> hey, holy shit. And he counted yeah. on that, didn't he? Well, he didn't threaten me or anything. No, no, no. I knew I was in my. I'll I was bet like, he knew you weren't going to tell anybody. Well, I don't know. Because nobody saw it, and... I don't know. But was it effective? Yeah, I didn't talk to him like that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it yeah. worked. It worked. I don't condone no, him, people. I'm yeah. okay but that with that, worked, though. Didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I respect you for not saying anything. Bitch, you quit being right. a bitch. Because... Yeah. You took your medicine. You got to respect somebody that takes their medicine. You do something bad, you get repercussions from it, and you take it. And I think respecting elders, especially if they're you're being taught by them or whatever. Like, let's face it, every, there's idiots everywhere, and yeah. a lot of elders are oh, idiots. I had some idiot teachers, and mm -hmm. and that exists. But your job is to fucking be a sponge there. You know and what I mean? To Not a, to be a smart ass and, and disrupt the class. And to be able to deal with it. You got to deal with those asshole teachers. Yeah. yeah. Because guess what? There's assholes out of, out of school, in the obviously, workplace. in the world. Mm -hmm. You're going to yeah. have to fucking deal with that shit, so ignore it or, you know, whatever. Do what you got to do. Yeah. The best is when you find a good teacher or oh. one that changes, oh, yes. Fires yes. You. Yes. changes oh, your, yeah. yep. uh, we'll you know, how you look at the world and, and you always remember those folks. God, if only they got actually paid anything. I know. Yeah, it's sad. I think, though, some people, elders, need to explain things. When you tell someone they can't do something, you got to explain why. You can't say, because I said so, or whatever. Yeah, because I said so is a And that's what separates the good teachers from the shit teachers, or in any position. Like, the good one, like, you understand almost everything out of their mouth, and it inspires you. Like, they just do it right. They're a good leader in a leadership position. Not everybody's like that. So, you know, that's military-wide. That's workplace-wide. It's Some people just suck at it. A lot of <laughs> teachers get burnt out. And, yeah, tainted. So you, they, they started all doughy-eyed, I'm going to help these children. And then, like, three years later, they're like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you all, you little shit. You know, like, that happens that sometimes. That happens to everybody in almost every profession. True. I totally think well, you have to combat that. Well, like, I had a job once leading camping trips around the country. What a great job. But I had coworkers that were so tired of their passengers. Mm -hmm. And that happens if you're a mechanic and mm -hmm. you're dealing with people like Thick every day or you're mm -hmm. a teacher and you're dealing with students. Yeah. But you signed up for this job. Yeah, of course. If you don't like it, do a different job. Teachers yeah. deal with a lot of politics too. Oh, yeah, they like do. Like more than a lot of people know. School boards are the sure. fucking worst. We should have a teacher sure. on the podcast. I know several. It'd be hard oh, to be a I teacher. I do too. My parents, roommate. dealing oh. with parents, got to be a nightmare. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. Oh, my because sister. they kiss the parents' ass and then yeah. the teacher is always the bad, you know. My sister's a teacher. She's been doing it for almost 20 years. And she luckily is out of the classroom. And she was at that point where she needed to get out of the classroom. Yeah. Because it is tough. And a lot, and parents, she would she would complain a lot about just she parents stocking up on red shit. pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mad props to teachers. Yeah. Oh, All yeah, the no, teachers out there. Much love. I, just, I feel so bad, bad for your yeah. situation. Well, yeah. Not bad for you if you're a bad teacher. Yeah. But, you know, I would, I would have to observe every teacher and go, yeah, no, he's good. No, he's a piece of shit. If your heart's into it, then props to you. You don't get paid enough, no. but we love you. And that's what's cool about YouTube is you've got this. You could pretty much learn everything. You have a library at your fingertips, which we could do. be a good and a bad thing, like that article I sent you. Yeah. Because I, I was reading this article the other day about, you know, how is this, you know, having this constant access to a phone and information, how is it affecting our brains? Yeah, particularly social media. Yeah. And, and you know, young kids. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just that constant, you know, there are kids out there that have anxiety because they're not constantly connected. You know, they can't right. put down their phone. Yeah. yeah. They and it's like, it's like something that, you know, it's, it's hard for, I guess, us to think, because we grew up in a time where that didn't exist. I say to my kids... We had to go to another building. We had to go yeah. across town to go into another building during certain hours, then go talk to somebody, then go into a catalog, look through the catalog to go find a book to read something that you could just hit a button and say, what is yeah. whatever. Yeah. How shitty was the Dewey Decimal System? Shitty. I couldn't figure that thing out. I guess, for the it, life I guess of me. it worked, but yeah, well, it was. If you were a rocket it, scientist. It's shitty now. We hope you enjoyed Video Game Minute. <laughs> 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 what were you gonna, what were you Don't say? Oh, what do you what do you guys think? You think having access to this information that quick is overall gonna be a net positive or are we gonna have some serious issues? I, I feel like it's, it's a balance. I yeah. feel like it's how you execute it. You know, like again, back to the Facebook thing, like if you're getting your influence and sources from like that echo chamber of 
You know, you're doing it wrong. But you can you can have access to facts instantly. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. they're there, so you can do it right. That's Learning my point. Learning facts is very easy. I also yeah. think it could affect your ability to be creative because instead of, you know, when I was a kid, I would just like think a lot or draw or do just create things. But yeah. if you're constantly being influenced by something you're seeing, you're not creating. Yeah. Well, it could also inspire a lot of people to do different things. Yeah, I mean, that's how I started with cartoons. I was inspired by the television shows I watched. I, I was watching a live streamer she was she's an artist she was doing digital drawings on photoshop and there were a lot of people in her chat saying you inspired me to, yeah. to draw again you inspired me to paint you inspired me to get photoshop and do this this and this so you know that's the that's the other side of the coin to it where you have people who are inspiring who's that guy is it jazza mm -hmm. the, yeah draw, uh, draw jazza. jazza he's great yeah love to pull up you know photoshop and just start messing around with different techniques I, I do the backgrounds for some of our shows sometimes so it's it's fun to watch what he does and maybe try to apply it to oh, what we do i've learned a lot of tips from him he's great well um when's the Birdman thing happening he was supposed we were supposed to get him and the day before he ended up going away and it got canceled so i did not reschedule that yet okay i was curious because neems you watched Birdman. yeah again so uh, i'm curious now because now you actually can form an opinion. Yeah. Before so you just probably assumed. Wait. Yeah. Like, no, of course. We I watched wait. part of the movie before, and now I've watched the whole movie. You watched part of the movie, but still judged the entire movie before. Well, he judges I, everything. I, I right. judged a movie based on how you, cover. how you start it, and if you're going to keep someone's interest for the rest of the movie. <laughs> okay. When, when, when you're busy. Mm -hmm. If I had time to kill, fine. Well, it's for the job. Yeah. Well, I mean, but at the time when he watched the first Yeah, it half, wasn't. He it was, was busy. For the job. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know how to end it. I think I'm sick of crab legs. Are <laughs> Officially. You? Isn't that sick weird? Sick of crab legs. Isn't that weird? Well, I've never had so much access to crab legs that I got the chance to get sick of them. Yeah, what's yeah, going on with you? What have you stumbled into? You, you got like a crab leg place next to you? Dock Street Oyster Bar downtown. What, are okay. they having like some really good deals or something? No, no, no. Every now and then we will have some crab legs. And we went, because it had been a long time, on Friday night. And um, I took like my first bite. I'm like, huh, I think I'm done. And I know done. it's like I don't eat enough crab legs. Yeah, yeah. neither yeah. do I. They're a lot of work too. Yeah, I'm having a hard time relating here. I when yeah. I do I have crab, crab legs, legs, they're like the best thing I've eaten. Yeah, you know, I've had situations in my life where I've discovered a food, and then for like the next two weeks, is that that's all I want? Yeah, we've had this crab leg thing for uh, you know since we started dating. Like once a month, we'd get crab legs somewhere. Yeah. So, so do you think it your kinda, relationships kind of that might be a <laughs> is that a yeah. sign? Yeah, it's all going to sign that you're in a decline. I'm gonna text her now. Sorry, hun. We're you guys. Done. Be careful when you start arguing because your walls are so thin. Yeah. All they argue about is the crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, we got to wrap this up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. So thank you, everyone, for uh, coming. Yeah. And thanks for, man, thanks for subscribing to us. We love this gold play button. Yeah. yeah. It's we all because of it you. Without you guys. Yeah. And, and since then, we've got another... What are we at today? 118,000 new people. Yeah. To the family. Who are right now uh, have already stopped listening. They listened to this oh, they moved five on minutes in and they're yeah. like, what the they're hell done. is this well, shit? Kind of like Birdman. They just moved on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this can't get any better from here out. All right. Well, anyway, thanks, guys. Thanks. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.